DAPHF is, uh, I think, a landmark trial and uh, a trial which is going to change completely uh, our uh, medical treatment of heart failure. Uh, it tested the hypothesis that dapaglyphosin, uh, which is uh, uh, a new class, uh, which is a, among the new class of drugs for the treatment of, of diabetes, uh, could improve the outcome also in the patients with heart failure without diabetes. Uh, and uh, the trial was successful. Dapaglyphosin uh, reduced the primary outcome of cardiovascular mortality or heart failure hospitalization by 26% compared with placebo. And this was attended by a reduction by 30% of heart failure events, including hospitalization and emergency visits. And there was also a reduction, which was significant, of cardiovascular and all-cause mortality by uh, 17 and 18 percent, respectively. So the drug changed the clinical course of the patients. It also improved significantly their quality of life. And uh, it was well tolerated uh, with no difference in side effects, uh, uh, major side effects versus placebo. And uh, therefore, uh, the trial is a landmark trial uh, because it is the first time that a medical treatment with a, a new mechanism of action, which is not uh, related with the neurohormonal neuro activation in heart failure, is effective changing the clinical course of our patients. And uh, therefore, and uh, the results were obtained on top of uh, uh, op optimal medical treatment, uh, and therefore this drug uh, must be likely added uh, in, uh, after uh, the, the approval by the regulatory authorities and everything uh, must be added to standard treatment of our failure. And um, uh, so the results are were well straightforward. And um, what else uh, to say? I mean, uh, this opens a new pathway uh, for treatment of patients. Uh, there are other glyphosins which are under investigation in patients with heart failure. And it's very important to state that there was no interaction at all uh, with diabetes. So the efficacy, the reduction in the events was the same in diabetic and non-diabetic patients. So this is a, a drug for heart failure independently of its anti-diabetic activity.